It's a local plate lunch staple, the food of choice for so many of us, but now rice is the dish that's creating health concerns. KITV Force Brent Brenton Awa is standing by to tell us why. Brenton. Hey, if you're at home right now, if you've got a scoop of white rice on your plate or on your spoon, you're about to take a bite, go ahead. Don't worry. It's not all bad news coming out of this study. The one bright spot for rice lovers is that there's two types, sushi and basmati rice, that have a lot less of the amount of arsenic in them than experts thought just two years ago. That's when Consumer Reports did its initial study to trace just how much arsenic all types of rice had in them. Here comes the negative news. Aside from sushi and basmati rice, other types of foods with rice in them, like hot rice cereal or rice pasta, had much higher levels of arsenic inside. The study also says that brown rice has higher amounts as compared to most of the white rice tested. Rice, the way it grows, it sucks that arsenic right out of the soil and concentrates it. And we worry about long term exposure to arsenic causing problems with skin cancer, lung cancer, bladder cancer. So we really do want to reduce that. The study recommends that small children should rarely be fed rice cereals and rice pastas. The American Academy of Pediatrics also weighed in on this topic. While pediatricians used to recommend starting babies with rice cereal as their first food, it says parents don't need to do that anymore. Just go with other types of cereals instead. The Consumer Reports study looked at over 100 different rice products. It's not saying to give up on eating rice completely, but it does want the FDA to set limits on the amount of arsenic allowed in the food. Back to you.